<laughs> Whoa! We go into the club, huh? And of course, the vocals here. Trademark Sugi, you know? What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Solgi's Los Angeles and Crown. So, yeah, guys, we are back with some more uh, Solgi. We are getting into the last two B sides from her album 28 Reason, which has been an incredible album. I absolutely love, well, Solgi. She is my bias from Red Velvet. And I think she's been really, really good at showing off her different colors throughout this album, both in terms of genre, in terms of her own vocal tone, in terms of her uh choosing to or not to that sounds like some shakespeare stuff but you know to or not to dance because obviously we had the title track which was very very dancey it, it had a very cool dance that kind of reminded me of like um of like monster or naughty kind of stuff she did with uh, with irene but then we also had something like bad boy sad girl which did not need a dance because it was a more of a a slow song a bit more of a i wouldn't say sad song but you know in, in like over not really blues but in, in that kind of vibe where you wouldn't really need to to dance to it so i'm excited to see what los angeles and crown has to bring to this album so i'm thinking let's just get right into it and get to the first one los angeles Alrighty, Solgi's Los Angeles lyric video we are watching this on the lovely unworld channel if there are mistakes let me know in the comments let's go It has a very quiet beginning intro. But there's like a there's like a lurking beat in the background. Oh. Okay, okay. Whoa, this is something else. I'm lost in Los Angeles. See? Okay, again, there's like this build just coming in. Quietly. <laughs> Whoa! We going to the club, huh? This really did turn into like house music, huh? I really love that contrast between the non house part and the house part. Also nice to hear how, like how much this sounds like Solgi. You know what I mean? It's so distinct her voice, or her tone. Oh. I'm lost in Los Angeles. I'm lost in Los Angeles. Okay, this beat hits kind of hard, you know? I could definitely see myself dancing to this at a club. Or in a club. You know? Hell. Okay. Is it in the arms of an angel? Because that's what Los Angeles mean, right? Like... The angels, no, something like that. So that, I guess, that counted as a bridge, right? Yeah, it sounds like you go into like a DJ uh, concert, or you know what I mean, where the DJ pult is up there. Wow. 
Thanks to Martin Garrix. Wow. Well, goddamn, that was uh, that was Red Velvet. Uh, so, that was Sulgi's Los Angeles. What? Not at all what I was expecting. Or at least when we listened to the beginning of it, like the intro, the verse and stuff, I was really not expecting the chorus to kind of go in and and hit kind of hard. It's a very interesting choice to have such a big uh, contest contrast throughout this song because obviously Sulgi, whenever Sulgi is singing, this song is very uh, quiet. Like outside of just the, this the build, there's obviously a lurking build throughout the whole song, but. Uh, and that she's very very quiet it's very it's very like soft in in a sense right but then suddenly we just get into this this uh chorus into this beat that's kind of edm kind of house music where you know when you go to a club or when you go to like a dj concert or something that's the kind of music you'd expect there so i think it's a very interesting contrast i do actually really like it how we have this like like it, it really builds into the whole thing about being lost in los angeles and wanting to get hugged the fact that there are like two different sides to it that there is this big contrast it plays into that very very well and honestly the sound is very very good it's definitely something i could see myself uh like partying to at a club especially the you know the chorus the uh breakdown of the song let's move on and get into the last one of the album crown Alrighty, righty crown once again on lovely unworld channel let's go Okay. So we're in the same kind of concept as like the title track. As ma as like as a monster, I'd almost say. Ooh, like a bit dark. Mm. Okay. Okay, down. Oh, wow. Uh, like how the instrumental hits is it. Ooh. And of course, the vocals here. Trademark Sulgi, you know? This deep voice she's she's going for is it's nice. Mm. Wow. Okay, getting the build again. Oh, down. Oh, she is killing this. Hmm. Okay. Whoa! Oh, we have a build a cool, cool flow, a cool pace of her singing here. I mean, come on! Oh. Down. The sound is so cool. Mm. Oh, that tone she uses there is incredible. She's feeling it. She's feeling it. God damn, Sogi's crown. Uh, I was about to say music video, but it's a lyric video. But incredible, incredible song. I love 
how much this plays into well the concept of this album a lot of these songs have actually played really really well into the concept in, into this a bit darker concept that it has a very good like what's it called like coherency throughout this whole album when it comes to to concept which i think is an absolute joy it's a really really good debut um album for Sulgi. i feel like for her solo stuff it feels like it shows so much of her color and especially the song like this crown where she gets to go down into these deeper vocals that we don't necessarily hear a lot of in their red velvet songs and of course she still also gets to go a bit bright and and do some some bit powerful notes some some bit uh higher power vocals that's really really cool uh, to hear from Sulky. She's absolutely killing it. I feel like this concept is just perfect for her. Especially, I would love to see all of these like as live stages because I feel like she would just do such a good job with expression and dance and everything. So props to Sulky. Yeah, guys, that was Sugi's Los Angeles and Crown. I mean, two absolutely incredible uh, songs. Los Angeles, a, an incredibly interesting uh, contrasted song that had a very, very quiet, soft side to it, but also a quite the opposite, a very upbeat house sound to it. It's a funny thing to combine, but it actually works quite well uh, in Sugi's song right here, especially because she's kind of doing this divide in terms of when she's singing and when she's not. And I don't know, it just works very, very, uh, very well in with the whole the whole concept of uh, Los Angeles being being kind of lost but also kind of finding uh, care in being lost is because it is in Los Angeles you're lost then we have um, Crown that is an incredible song it reminds me so much about the title track like the, especially the concept right the type of song it is it's very much over there with uh, with some of the other songs from this album it's very very cool such a cool way to end the album off with this this Crown oh man this album has been an absolute joy to listen to I really really hope we soon get more from Soul you obviously we have the other members to also get solos like Irene and um, and Yeti we need some solos from. I was honestly not, from the beginning I was not expecting Solgi to do it solo because she already had her subunit. I thought they would do a subunit and the rest would do solo but no. Solgi also got a solo so now my hopes are for Irene and Yeti to also get one. For now let me know what you guys thought about Solgi's Los Angeles and Crown down in the comments below and I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>